Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. When I'm filming this it's late October 2020 so this is probably the last rays of sun that we'll be having for quite a while. So I thought this was a good idea to present to you another Mortlach. Now in this case it is an independently bottled Mortlach, this one from the Carnmore Strictly Limited series. Carnmore Strictly Limited is usually two casks and it is the same here. Morrison and Mackay are the bottlers and this Mortlach is a 12 years old from 2007 uh, that was bolted in the Carnmore Strictly Limited Edition. It is a vatting of two Sherry Hawks heads and in fact that yielded 708 bottles but to be honest I don't think this is cask strength because this is only 12 years old and it is bottled at 47.5% ABV. I don't believe this to be cask strength or at least no no can't be can't be I was thinking maybe the spirit went into the cask at a lower lower ABV that could be the case but still why why would they do that uh, so I have no real explanation for that apart from the fact that there is also when I when I first tried it I was not really convinced it, it, there was something about this Mortlach that could not really convince me and I tried it a second time and still there was something but it grows on you and and as the bottle <laughs> Uh, continued to deplete its malt I kind of well I won't say that I that I started to really like it but I did grow fond of it somehow so it, it actually took me three times at least to start to appreciate this and I'll tell you why uh, you can see that it's got a beautiful dark color which means it's probably uh, a fatting of two very active casks because this is this is actually bronze to mahogany in color but it comes down the glass rather quickly, which in my opinion means that this is a quite light-bodied malt in this case. So the Mortlach, 12 years old from 2007 in Morrison & Mackay's Carnmore Strictly Limited series. 47.5% ABV on the nose. Yeah, it's, it's very, very candy-like. It's very, very sweet on red fruit and red lace candy you know I also get a bit of leather and, and, and coffee maybe but clear notes of mocatine mocatine is, a, is a, uh, a Belgian candy from Antwerp we call it an Arabic because it's got this Arabic person on, 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 on the wrapper I'll show you a picture and you'll know what I'm talking about it's a mocatine it's a it's a it's, it's almost like uh, caramel nothing else but caramel let's get a bit of dried apricots and then there's some gravy and that's that's been a while in in more modern Mortlux I have not really been able to discover that really umami traits while in this case I do get a bit of of gravy but then there is also that floral note rather big floral note and I, I suspect that that is what kept me from really really liking this Mortlux the floral note but it's not bad, not by a long shot, but it's just not, it lacks a bit of oomph as well. Oh well, on the palate. Mm. Like I said, it's only slightly oily, it's, it's rather very light bodied actually. Um, and again, it's very, very sweet at first. My teeth almost fall out of my mouth. It's that sweet. Wow. But then that is nicely countered by some spices. I get some nutmeg. I get a surprising amount of salt. Cloves. And again, that red fruit and, and, and the dried fruit kicks in. And there's also this, this fresh note. I'd call it menthol, but it, it does not seem to work for me. And it, it seems to be atypical for Mortlach, that menthol note. Yeah, yeah. But luckily there's enough going on to, you know, to distract uh, my, my taste buds or to occupy my taste buds, at least on the finish. Now the finish is nice. That makes up for a lot. It's, it's, it's quite long. It's creamy, spicy. I get some baked bananas now, some dried apricots again, and then some some drying tannins. And at the very death is again this 
surprisingly salty note, which is surprising. <laughs> well, this is a, a, a sweet, drying, piquant Mortlach from two very active sherry casts, in my opinion. It couldn't convince me at first, but it is a bottle that somehow has grown on me. So uh, I would like to thank my buddy Manny as well, because he's the one who gave me the bottle. Uh, thank you, Manny, for this uh, for this Mortlach. Not the best mod like I've had, but I've had far worse as well. Um, an interesting one, to say the least. And that, my friends, is all for this Whiskey Rambling. And I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, live fast, drink slow. May the mod be with you. Bye-bye.